This video outlines in short how you can search for clinical trials or clinical trial applications in the authority workspace of CTIS. The video will cover the basic search functionality and the advanced search functionalities. The video will also show the information displayed on the search results list. In the Clinical Trials tab of the Authority Workspace, you have three different ways of searching for clinical trials and clinical trial applications. These are the basic search functionality and the two advanced search functionalities, the Trial Advanced Search and the Application Advanced Search. These search functionalities enable you to retrieve clinical trials or associated clinical trial applications. The main difference between a basic search and the two advanced searches is that a basic search is aimed at finding specific trials by their EUCT number. In contrast, the advanced searches are more useful to find trials that match a set of specific criteria. The first way to look for trials is the basic search, which allows you to look for a specific clinical trial by entering its EUCT number in the search bar. Once you start typing the EUCT number, the basic search will show a set of predictive suggestions based on the input number. You can finish filling in the number, or click on one of the suggestions. Then, click on the search button to launch the search. The result of your search will be listed on a table below the search functionalities. If you click on the search button without specifying an EUCT number, you will retrieve all clinical trials that you can access. In addition to the basic search, you may also use the two advanced search functionalities which allows you to use various criteria and retrieve clinical trials and clinical trial applications that match the selected criteria. These searches are more suitable if you wish to narrow the search based on specific parameters. With the trial advanced search, you can use criteria such as the trial status, including status in a specific MSC or overall, trial start, or end dates, member states concerned, therapeutic area, etc. You can use more than one criterion to narrow down the search, making it more specific, to retrieve fewer results. The search results will satisfy all the conditions defined by the selected criteria. In this example, you launch a search with Austria as the reporting member state, and paracetamol as the substance. Click on the search button to retrieve the results. The two criteria used to run the search are matched in the search results table. You can also insert multiple values within each criterion. In this example, authorized and under evaluation are added to the overall trial status criterion. And the sponsor test organization demo is selected. In this case, you retrieve clinical trials that match any of the two selected trial status selected in the criteria to run the search, and conducted by the sponsor test organization demo. You can use the third search functionality, the application advanced search, to search for clinical trials, which contain applications matching the specified criteria such as application status, types of applications, decision dates, etc. In both advanced searches, you will retrieve clinical trials, but the criteria of the application advanced search are application related and not trial related. Similar to the trial advanced search, you can select more than one criterion to narrow down your search, retrieving fewer results. Once you have launched a search, either basic or advanced, the results will be listed on the search results list below the search functionalities. The list provides you with preliminary information of the trials, including the RMS, the MSCs, the condition of the trial, the sponsors who submitted the clinical trial application, the product being tested and the submission date. By clicking on the arrow located on the bottom right side of each result, you can expand or collapse a small section with more details on the application and its evaluation steps. By clicking on the Display Options button, which is available on the top right side, you can add and display more details in the search results list, such as the trial type, gender, age group. In this example, we are adding the trial type to the search results list. The trial status will be indicated in color, below the EUCT number and the trial title. You can also decide how many results you would like to see per page. By default, you will see 10 results, but, on a single page, you can have 20, 50, or 100 trials listed. You can select it either on the top of the list, or at the bottom.
On the left side, you can use the sort functionality, using various sorting criteria such as the EUCT number, the RMS, the overall trial status, etc. In this example, the trials are being sorted according to the overall trial status with those authorized being on top of the list. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the search functionalities and how to download clinical trials and clinical trial applications information, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.